Jeep's largest vehicles, the new 2022 Wagoneer full-size SUV and more premium 2022 Grand Wagoneer, have been on the market long enough for consumers to be aware of their existence, but not long enough to erase confusion. Jeep considers them to be two different models, competing in different segments, but from the same Wagoneer family. To play up Wagoneer as a sub-brand, the SUVs don't even wear Jeep badging. Many consumers don't see the Wagoneer slash Grand Wagoneer distinction. The most common misconception is that the Grand Wagoneer is a higher trim level, a more feature-loaded version of the Wagoneer. So, we asked Jeep's two main bosses, Christian Munier who is global president of the Jeep brand, and Jim Morrison, head of Jeep brand North America, how the new models are being perceived and received. What's in a name? Why make them two separate models? Other automakers have separate mainstream and premium full-size SUVs, most compete in the segments with different nameplates and brands. GM has the Chevrolet Tahoe in the volume segment and the premium Cadillac Escalade. Ford has the mainstream Ford Expedition and upscale Lincoln Navigator. Entering into the white space for us, we thought it was a good way to leverage one with the other, Morrison says. The more affordable Jeep Wagoneer targets the mainstream, offering feature for feature what those customers are looking for, says Morrison. Grand Wagoneer is directly aimed at the premium large SUVs, tailoring its features accordingly. The separation is there by powertrains and by content, he says. The differentiation is, feature for feature, powertrain for powertrain, based on what the competition have in each of those segments. The full-size three-row SUV was a long time coming. The Grand Wagoneer was in the plans for years but kept getting delayed as Jeep tended to other models that also needed to be launched. When the Wagoneer name returned after a 30-year hiatus, the focus was on the Grand Wagoneer, Munier says. That is the flagship. We wanted to re-establish the name and we've been very successful doing that. It is the better seller. And the top of the top, the Grand Wagoneer Series 3 is the vehicle that doesn't stay more than about three days on the lot, he says. It is a good sign that we have been able to establish it this way. Munier admits that Jeep needs to build more awareness at the lower Wagoneer level, the $60,000 to $85,000 mainstream part of the segment. This will take a little bit of time. Some of it is chronology. The Wagoneer Base Series I was last to launch. They did not start rolling off the line until this spring, and the addition widens the scope for buyers of all pocketbook sizes.